Hey! In this video I want to talk about audio plugins on Linux. So I've opened up some of the plugins for my collection. As you can see there are plenty different plugins here. As you can see I have opened a compressor here, an equalizer, and freeband EQ and bit crusher here. Here you can see a really nice synth with this cute cat here. Here you can see a reverb plugin and also a little bigger synth here. So I want to show you where you can find the plugins, how you install them and also how you use them. I've opened up some pages where you can find some plugins. I've also linked them in the description down below. The first page you can see here is Carve Studio Gear. They have plenty of different plugins, for example instruments, modulation effects and so on. And as you can see they have really nice user interfaces and they are all for free. Traction has released some plugins for Linux. They have released a premium um, plugin collection with 16 different plugins. They are around $100. Then they have released a synth called Biotech with really cool nature effects and so on. It's about $150. And they have also released a DAW for Linux called Traction. OpenAV have some really nice open source plugins. They have a plugin collection called RTFX. But they have also released a sampler, a synth and a live looper. At Distro you can find different plugins. They have released a Distro mini series with an equalizer splitter and ping pong pan. They have also done some ports. Make sure you check out the TAL plugins, they are really nice. Uhe have ported all of their synth and plugins to Linux. They are in a beta status and I have the link down below in the description. They have really high quality synth and plenty of professional musicians are using them. So the next thing I want to show you is how you install and use the plugins. So there are three different plugin formats on Linux. The first one you probably already know, it's VST. VST is a proprietary format from Steinberg. LV2 is an open standard for audio plugins and they also come with really nice interfaces as you can see here. LADSPA is an older plugin format for Linux and they don't come with a own user interface. So as I already said in the other video about how to prepare Linux for audio production. The KX Studio repositories are really important. When you have added the repositories to your system, you can download the plugins from your software center. So they have the RTFX and the Carve Studio gear and plenty of others in there. So for VST plugins, you normally download them from the site and then you put them into the .vst folder in your personal folder. Here you can see some of my VST plugins. For LV2, you can also put them into your .lv2 directory. So there are two different possibilities how you can use the plugins. The first one is you can use a standalone plugin host. I've chosen Kala. You can add a plugin here. Click on it and click add plugin. Then you can see it here on the rack. 
Then you click here to open the user interface. You can make your settings here and then close it. Then go to Patch Bay and make your audio connections here. As you can see here, my capture is going to the input and so on. The second option you have is to add the plugins into your DAW. I have Traction here. In Traction you go to Settings, Plugins and then click Scanning. Scan for VST or LADSPA plugins. Then go back to your edit. Take the plugin marker here, put it to your track and then add the plugin. Let's say you want to add the AM self here. Yes. So this was my short tutorial about audio plugins on Linux. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please leave a like on the video. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section down below. And I see you in the next video.